talk about this event today, why it was so important for you guys to do. Uh, I mean, I, I feel like having us to be able to have a chance to be home finally, to be able to be a part of the community is something that we always wanted to do. The fun of time doing this and doing premieres and traveling places. I mean, in a sense, we were able to learn so much, and I feel like this event was much needed. And I'm glad that me and my brother had the time to, to make it happen. Shaquille, like a family reunion, it feels like, doesn't it? No, no doubt. You know, uh, it just feels good to be back at home. Uh, I remember on my way here driving, you know, telling my brother, man, I don't know what it is about St. Pete, but it just gave me this sense of energy. You know, it, like it refuels me, and it just feels good to be home. So uh, to get a get a chance to throw this event and see the outcome of it, it's amazing, man. It's definitely amazing. I'm so happy that it happened. I was so excited for it, and uh, it came out perfect. You guys are role models to these kids and these families, aren't you? Uh, I feel like it. I feel like it. But uh, you know, we, uh, we never even looked at it that way. You know, the main thing we try to do everything right. You know, uh, become good leaders. You know, try to inspire more leaders. But uh, man, um, it, it's crazy to, to know now. You see kids kind of look up to you. It's crazy to see that. So, uh, man, uh, we take one on ourselves to continue to do right. When you were a kid, an event like this would have meant what to you? I couldn't even imagine. Like, we have so many, like, architects. We have so many athletes. We have so many entrepreneurs that are just doing great things and being so successful. And I feel like just to have a sense of them coming back to talk to us, I could imagine myself just having a sense of insight, you know, a sense of passion. It might wake up a dream within me. And I feel like... Why not be us? Why not us come back and share that dream? Share what we learned, share what we've seen. We've been to different countries. We've been to a state to state. We've been able to been around these, these, these groups of amazing people. Why not share that info? Why hold it? And I feel like that info to this new generation, the generation that's coming after that, needs it. They need to be shared this info, this wisdom, because as long as they learn it, as long as they're going together and build it together, it's going to be a great community. Shaquille, you're a little bit closer to home now in Jacksonville. <laughs> tough year for you. What was that like this season for the Jags? Oh, man, uh, it, it was tough. But uh, I feel like the things that we learned, you know, the way we matured, I feel like it's, uh, man, that we, we needed that. You know, and I feel like it's a situation that we never want to see again. And, uh, man, it helped me grow as a person, as a leader. You know, now to be back home, back in Florida, you know, I feel like it was a no-brainer to come back here, you know, and to try to make change, even in Jacksonville. So, uh, man, it feels good to be close. You know, it was an easy drive just to pull back up here. And, uh, man, it's been amazing. But, like I said, we learned so much over here in Jacksonville. And now we just hope we find the right people, you know, the right system to get this organization back where it needs to be. What would you think of your play this season? Um, I feel like my play was good, but it could have been so much better. You know, I felt like I left some plays out there not getting the ball in my hands like I needed to. But that's the part, though, know, as a leader, I know I got to do better at that. And I'm willing to do whatever it takes to make sure I up my game and I bring everybody along with me. Shaquem, I saw you on the sidelines at a UCF football game this year. What's it like when you go back to the home of UCF? Oh, man, it's, it's an amazing experience. It's actually uh, so surreal because it's like it's, I've been gone for so long and I feel that atmosphere shot back up just out of nowhere. I mean, it gave me goosebumps. It, like, it was a cold game. I didn't want to leave the field. I, I, I had my family. I had my family in the press box. It was like I can't leave. Like the atmosphere here is like it's like I'm back home. It's like I'm back in college again. I and just to love the fans. So it was it was amazing. It was a blessing. I'm glad I chose the right school. Gus Melzon in his first year, nine and four, the bowl win here in Tampa over Florida. What do you think of the job he did in his first season? It's powerful. You know, not, not a lot of coaches are able to come in, get this group of kids, and be able to make it into a family and create a culture that's winning. Um, you know, I commend him, meeting him, his energy is, is courageous, and I, I just love it. And you can tell it brings out in the whole team, man. I'm glad you see up here, too. <laughs> Shaquille, what about you? The emphasis on defense and, and the improvements they made over the course of this season. Man, uh, it was amazing. It was amazing to see it. Uh, and I feel like they did a wonderful job over there. And I feel like the main thing is you just find the right people, man. They did that to put everybody in the right spots to do good, and they showed that, man. It's cool to see the best team in Florida. College football changes so much. You guys are just a couple of years out, but now transfer portals exploded and NIL, name, image, and likeness. Can you imagine being in that era of college football? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even get into it. I don't even get into it. It, it. It's different, and it's a new experience, and I, I feel like it's, it's, it's such a hype, a hype to it. I don't want to leave kids or the, lead them the wrong way, you know. It's always going to be their decision, but the only thing I can say is never go to another place that make it better than the first place you already have. So you got to make sure you always know that. But because it's not as good as what you got right now, that's me up and leave them, I'll make it better. Yeah. And it's giving these kids the opportunity to move back and forth, so it's just like, you never know. Imagine if you'd done that, you wouldn't have had the legacies that you did at UCF. Exactly. When you look back on your time at UCF, how transformational was that for the program and the legacy that you leave behind, the building blocks that you see now built on the success that you two had? Culture, yeah. The culture is nice. 
and that would kind of shape everything. You know, you talk about my year where I feel like I was more with George O'Leary. Then you get Scott Frost kind of change it around. And then I feel like the season that they had, that undefeated season, being Auburn, I feel like that was a culture shock for everybody because from now on, this is the type of team, this type of atmosphere, the type of energy that we need to bring through UCF to continue to just win a program and, and the show. So, you know, it feels good to be one of them guys who paved the way for something great. And I feel like UCF is going to continue to strive to do better. What's things. next for you guys now in terms of community outreach, its importance to you and your brand? Uh, it's, it's, we haven't really posted anything or gave people a notice. But it's been a little shocking to the city right now that we're raffling off our vehicles, all of them, yeah. and for us to start giving back to the community. Which vehicles? What's that mean? Woo! So we got the BMW i8, you have a, a G-Wagon, you have a Sprinter van, and um, these are like vehicles that we already have. You know, we've been talking about it, we've been trying to find ways to be able to pour it back into the community. And uh, my brother came up with the idea where we could start the raffle tickets where you buy tickets online and you get a chance to win these vehicles that we already have made. You know, in tip top shape, looking great, and you get a chance to win them. And all you gotta do is continue to buy tickets. And these tickets, these proceeds, is going right back into the community where we're trying to build a gym or we're trying to build affordable homes. Whatever it is, we're trying to give everything back and pour right back into the community, start making changes. When's that launch? countdown is starting soon. We're going to start a countdown on Sunday. So right but now, right now, you just got to sign up for it. You see your email in, your name. As soon as it drops, you'll be the first one to buy your ticket. And yeah. find that how? On your social media, follow you how? We'll, we'll put it on the social media. We'll make sure it's easy enough to find a link and get right to it. And you know Night Nation will support you in that as yeah, well. Yeah, 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 That's why we got so much yeah. love for them. Everything that we have done, as far as, as, far as we have went and, and we gone, you see I've been there right behind us, so we love it. All right, go Knights. Always, go Knights, always. Go Knights. Always. Always. <laughs>